This is a video tutorial on how to perform correlation analysis using JASP. We have a number of variables here. Gender, age, exercise, stress, health, academic performance, and loneliness, and cons is uh, conscientiousness. And uh, presuming that we have a research problem involving these variables and one of our preliminary analysis is that we'd like to know whether there are associations or correlations among um, these variables. So we will do correlation analysis. So first we have to convert these variables, um, their labels, into identify them as scales or uh, continuous variables. Now you will notice that one of the variables is gender and we know that gender is a dichotomous categorical variable but in here I have coded females as 0 and males as 1 uh, and if you do so you can also include dichotomous variables in um, correlation analysis. It would be more difficult though uh, if you are if, if the categorical variable is more than more than two levels so gender would be okay so to perform this let's click on regression then correlation matrix all right and we just highlight all of these variables and transfer it here and a correlation matrix would um, would appear so we have some options here. If you're dealing with um, ordinal data, you might want to choose Spearman. Uh, but since we're dealing mostly with um, continuous variables here, uh, so I'm choosing Pearson. Um, you also would like, you, you might want to report for the significance. Let's say the p-values are below. Um, that's just like for example this one. So this is a significant result. There's a significant association between health and exercise as we would expect. This is the correlation coefficient 0 0.301 and statistically there is a significant relationship between these two variables. Um, health and stress for example they're correlated uh, and the coefficient is negative one, uh, 1 0.121 and it's also significant. Now, if you don't want to ac actually see, so the, the matrix is, goes up to here. If you don't want to see the significance, you just want to flag for significant correlations, just click here and then uncheck that. And when you do so, um, the values that are significant will be indicated by these asterisks. So 1 is significant at 0 0.0. Uh, 5 if you have 2 significant 0 0.01 if you have 3 significant at 0 0.001 so what what are some meaningful correlations here so gender is correlated with uh, sorry with um, exercise um, now since male is one so that means to say that males are more likely to exercise compared to females um, some other meaningful correlations here here conscientiousness and academic performance which based on literature and have demonstrated strong associations those who are strongly conscientious are also those who are most likely to perform well academically um, uh, loneliness and stress are positively correlated uh, the more stressed you are the more likely you are also lonely significant at point zero zero one so that's how you perform correlation in JASP another interesting thing about JASP is that you can generate plots so when you click uh, correlation uh, plots correlation matrix it will actually generate correlation plots it's taking some time let's wait for it there and the 
those are your correlation plots. So that's it. Um, I hope that uh, this is useful, uh, especially um, um, we're about to do a demonstration on um, multiple regression. So this is a useful information, um, a, a useful background knowledge no? uh, for us if you if you are to if you are to learn multiple regression later on. So thank you.